So, this might be the dumbest thing I've done yet. Um, it looks like it's working. Is it getting louder? I don't know. It's sure showing on the thing that it's working. So this is a microphone that I made for less than seven dollars. Yep, that's a Walmart prescription bottle. Now let me switch over to my other microphone and I'll take this apart and show you how I did it. Alright, can y'all hear me? How about now? Alright, we're good. So we've got the other one and everything muted but this one now. So let me pull. I've got this. This isn't going to a regular microphone cable. It's going to like an instrument cable. Quarter inch jack. This is the 20 something year old cable off my Ibanez base. So I was on Amazon. I don't know what was going through my head. I'm being honest. I found this piezo pickup that came with a volume pot and an output jack for around six bucks. It was under seven bucks. And I got to thinking, well, you know, I don't know how piezo pickups work. Pick up vibrations. Maybe I can make a microphone. And it all started because I somebody, somebody, saw somebody using a microphone with a harmonica. And I'm like, man, harmonica microphones are expensive. But the one I saw that I liked, it was like $129. Who's got that kind of money? Not me. Not Bill Gates or Donald Trump or that Jimmy Buffett investing guy. Wait a minute. That's the Margaritaville guy, Warren Buffett. <clears throat> but I saw this. And I was like, hey. For six bucks. I can try it. And so I tried it. I'm going to show you the insides. This is what it came with. This disc, which is the pickup. Volume pot, potentiometer, output jack, like you'd see for a guitar. Less than $7 with tax, free shipping Amazon. Now, this was bigger than what I thought I was getting. I thought it was going to be the size of the red one. So this is 50 millimeters, because I was going to use a regular size pill bottle for it. But it didn't fit. So I found one of the fatties. And I was like, okay. Cool, I can make this work. Drilled a hole here. Drilled a hole here. Don't know a side hole. I just found a drill bit that was, you know, a little bit larger or about the same size as these. It came with a bunch of hardware. So I drilled the holes. Pushed these stuff through the holes. Like so. Got them both in their respective hole. Got the volume on the side, the output on the volume on the side, output on the back. Used the little nut that came on there to secure it down. This was easier without me trying to do it on camera. That's the wrong one. I should lean this camera down so y'all get a better view. I'm sorry, guys. Screwed the nut on there. And that's just two. And I just did it hand tied, actually. And that's just to hold that in place so it don't pop out when you push the cable in. And then <clears throat> you want to make sure you got these to where 
when you press the cable in, it's not hitting both because you don't want to short it out. Then hold that in place there. Take the other nut. Turn it in. You want to get this one as snug as you can because if you're turning the volume, it'll have to turn the whole thing. So get that as snug as you can. Again, using a pair of uh, sharp nose pliers, needle nose pliers will help. There we go. That's in. Now, at first test, I just shoved this in the lid and screwed it on and it worked. But then I decided, you know what? Let me add some holes. So I just took a real small drill bit and used the design on the Walmart pill bottle to draw the holes. Uh, cram everything in here. Like so. And then I use some scotch tape. It's the tape you use when you're wrapping presents. Just to hold it in place, which I've already boogered all that up from taking it back off. See, I just set that on top because it fits almost perfectly. Screw that down. Voila, you got a microphone. Um, let me grab the cable again. I dropped it on the floor. Let's plug that in. Oh, and hey, future Dell here. Um, so when I went to put the microphone back together, I um, had a technical difficulty. I don't have a good interface for anything other than USB for my computer. And I use this little cheap mobile interface where you can plug either an XLR cable from a microphone or an instrument cable from a you know, guitar <clears throat> into your computer. And apparently this thing crapped out on me while I was trying to hook it back up. So anyway, um, I already showed, I was going to play the harmonica through it, but now i got to get another interface for the work to work with my computer. Um, my only other option is hook it to the amp, which is how I play, how I was playing with it first with the amp. But anyway, appreciate y'all watching. Under six bucks, I mean under seven bucks, you can make this microphone too. I know it's not the best sounding thing in the world, but it's really cool for running your harmonica through an amplifier. Anyway, I appreciate y'all watching. Love all y'all. God bless y'all.